I really enjoyed the Tesla Valve, a joint venture between YT Engineer and EpicPhysics.com, so I decided to voice the words just to make it easier to understand. The image above is the original drawing filed with the patent. The Tesla valve was patented by Nikolai Tesla in 1920. It was US patent number 1329559. It is a valve that allows fluid to flow preferentially or entirely in one direction only. Unlike other valves, it has no moving parts at all, therefore it will almost never wear out or break down. Before we look at the Tesla valve in more detail, let's take a closer look at a simple valve that is used all around the world today, the one-way valve. This is a water pump that can still be found in many towns and villages worldwide. It consists of two one-way valves working in tandem in order to pump water. While this is a very simple and elegant machine, it is prone to breakdowns. The hinges on both valves fail fairly often and the valves themselves can disintegrate or become stiff, leaky, and useless. This is the reason why many of these water pumps no longer work. They have failed in some way. Let's compare this to the Tesla valve. As I've already said, the Tesla valve has no moving parts. Instead, it relies simply upon the geometry of the valve. So let's see how that works. If I try to blow into the valve from right to left, you will notice that a molecule has a simple path through. The molecule found the path of least resistance. It would have passed through the valve with little or no problem. Now let's try from the opposite direction. First, let's look at the geometry of the valve from this direction. A molecule traveling from this direction will encounter some very different obstacles. The Tesla valve in this patent contains 11 segments that attempt to restrict airflow through the valve. This is what happens as a molecule attempts to travel through the valve. The molecule encounters an obstacle. It can either A, go right, or B, go left. The molecule that went right turns back against the flow. The one that went left must face another obstacle. As you can see, the fluid itself is becoming the force that will not allow the flow. The further down the valve the molecule travels, the less likely it is to succeed in reaching the end of the valve. There is no path of least resistance. The harder the force of the flow, the higher the resistance. Nathan West, a mechanical engineer from Brigham Young University, Utah, recently conducted some computational fluid dynamic tests on the valve. Nathan used four segments for his CFD test. The patent shows 11 segments. Here are Nathan's results. The bulk of the fluid is able to follow a wide and mostly laminar flow, and thus the only losses are due to surface friction. The resistance was a whopping 40 times greater in the impeded direction than in the unimpeded direction. With 11 segments in place, this resistance could be as high as 200 times greater from one side to the other, as Nikola Tesla claimed. Links to Nathan's writing in fluidpowerjournal.com can be found in the description box. Proof of concept with the epicphysics.com Tesla Valve.
Imagine if this valve was in all the water pumps. I think it's safe to say that they'd still be working to this day. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, or subscribe. You also might like the Tesla turbine and how it works. Watch it here. Or 